Hi everybody, Ben here from Atlas Ordinary. So I am going to do a pearl pour, except instead of using the black as the coat, I'm going to pour white. So I've had to pick different colours which hopefully will show up better using a white base or a white colour to go over the top of the pearl. <laughs> So I have Extreme Sheen Obsidian and Sapphire. So I'm only going to do the two colours. So I'm hoping that the Obsidian kind of gives me the darkness and the blue gives you that bit of bling or sparkle. So these are mixed, uh, I think one's 13 and one's 12 grams paint to the same in, flow, in Australian Floetrol. I think that one's 13 and that one's 12, just because when I squirted out the bottle, um, one of them got an extra mil, so, or an extra gram. So I have mixed them up, um, giving them a little bit of a stir. I wonder if this blue is a little bit thicker than the black. They're both quite thick actually. Um, some of the extreme sheen colors are a little bit thinner than the others. But I can't really add too much more because the containers are too full now. I can't add any more to it. So <laughs> that's where I'm at. So I'm just going to get these stirring sticks out. So these have just been recently stirred again. I may have to use the sticks to kind of scrape out what I need at the... So... It's a 14 by 14 canvas. So these two are 12 grams paint, 12 grams Floetrol. And this white is 48 grams paint, 96 grams Floetrol, and 21 grams water. So definitely thicker. Maybe a tiny bit more. Then I'm going to do that stripey thing again. I quite like that. So I'm not sure exactly how big my pearls are going to be with this because this seems quite thick so I may get small pearls, I might not but also I don't know how the white is because the white I mix the same as I mix the, um, the black but the white is a little bit of a different consistency so again we will just have to see. Oops, put my hand under where it was dribbling. So I'm hoping that I get some really cool results with these. Because I love these two, I love obsidian, but there's just, I haven't used it a lot because um, I usually use black. So now, I'm going to get some gloves ready before I, oh here they are. I moved them and I came, seem to, can't actually see them once I've moved them. So give the white another little quick stir. Now I don't want to pull this from a height, I want to pull this from quite low down. I don't want it to smash into it too heavy. There we go. Now it's just a matter of tilting and hoping for some awesome pearls. I can see the obsidians mixing with the white a little bit there. 
So it might end up being more grey than white, I don't actually know. So I'm just going to go a little bit easy. Pouring it close, I'm going to tilt it over a little bit, there we go. I found that first side always didn't get a lot of um, pearls because I didn't tilt it enough over that corner. So I'm learning to tilt a little bit more on that first corner these days. Now, trying to do this steady like and then over and back. come down to this opposite side so again I don't know how the pearls are going to show up if they're going to be in shape like they do with the black one or not because when you're using a different color you do get slightly different results bring the paint back to the center and then sorry if I'm off angle I just got to get to this last corner The white is behaving differently. It's like it's sticking to the canvas a little bit. Not going as smoothly over. And then bring it back. Nah, I can't bring it back yet. It still hasn't gone completely over the edge. try and bring that back very very different results I think the pearl color was very strong and the white was very thick so I'm gonna stop there because I'm making really unusual patterns in this oh goodness this white didn't behave how I wanted it to Covered, so it's covered. It was like it, the white was catching on the canvas and not going over the edges so smoothly. But you know what? It's bringing up some pretty unusual results. Just very, very different. So I'm either going to have to make my white thicker or my pearl colour thinner. But I'm liking its unusualness. So this is this is what I, why I like acrylic art. You don't always get the exact same results. Like these are really out of shape, but. I don't find them ugly, I find it's just different. It's giving me a really different. Down here is kind of a little bit more washed out. I'm getting more of my original pearls over here. And these are kind of just like unusual shaped, but still quite groovy. So I do have to give it a quick little torch. So all of this is telling me is, Depending on what results I actually want. If I want the same results as I get with the black, um, I'm going to have to practice with my um, the measurements, the ratios of paint and everything. But if I want something that looks quite different and a little bit unusual, then what I've got is pretty cool. The obsidian's definitely come through quite strong. 
Um, the sapphire is definitely there, but it's not overpowering. Um, if anything, the obsidians become a little bit more stronger. But all as I can do now is pause this and let it settle in. I I'm, am loving the original kind of pearls that I get over here through the white. This is just so different. I like it, but it's different. Um, I kind of wouldn't mind getting one like the original pearls that I get. So for now, I'm going to have to pause this and see what happens. Because those blues may actually come up more stronger um, in time. But let me get the pause button and we'll let this settle in and see what it does. Okay, we're back. I love it. So, the pearls have got a little bit more defined. This kind of air, white area has really just disappeared to just a few little um, like creases, like all the pearls have swelled up and just pushed it all together. I love how it's mostly black and it's kind of going out in a bit of a, a pattern. And then you've got the blues that come through in the gaps of where the black is. I like this. It is very different, but the only spots I have um, like proper shaped pearls like I do in the other pearl pores is kind of on the last edge here and a few little spots around a lot of the rest is kind of quite big and out of shape but I don't mind that it's given it a different look to most of the others I would say that it's because the pearl paint was thick and the white was probably too thin but it's a learning curve because it's the first time I've used the white um, and I also think the white just didn't flow as easy as the black did but it's just going to be um a bit more practice I think but overall I'm really liking it so it's just different so it's super shiny and shimmery and when it dries this is going to be awesome but this is a obsidian and sapphire pearl pour with white instead of black as the um I don't really know what you call it. I, I normally call it a base coat, but it's not really base because you're putting it over the top of the pearl paint. So this is it. I'm going to bring you down for a close-up. Okay, here we go. So this is what I see from my angle. So I'm pretty happy with this. And I like it how the center is down here in this corner, not right back in the center. But a lot of that was because I couldn't keep tilting it back all the way to the middle because too many pearls had already shown up and they were going way out of shape but let's move down for some close-ups so as you can see there's nice pearls in there they aren't completely round or anything I love this corner how you got some sapphire coming through the obsidian and then you got all these little patches of sapphire coming through sorry for the circle light But yeah, really interesting. And I've actually completely lost my centerpiece, but that is because I think the white was just thinner. So this is my obsidian and sapphire pearl pour with the white. So I'm quite happy. Let me know what you guys think. And like normal, uh, like, share, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And hit the bell and click all. Thanks for joining me for another Pour on Easter weekend and I'll see you soon for another one. Okay, bye.